We got Chucks again. All right, I cannot not come to a city and buy fucking shoes. So I ended up getting these Butterscotch Not Chucks first day in Toronto. These are fucking fire. I'm super excited about them actually. Can't wait to start repping those. What's going on Wolves? Welcome back to another motherfucking video. The first vlog that has happened in a long time. Myself, my wifey, and beautiful little baby boy are currently in Toronto, Ontario, Canada because tomorrow Brian is stepping on stage at Summer Shredding, the first ever Summer Shredding in Canada, which I'm super, super excited about. We're actually going to his house right now. He just finished up the athletes meeting, so we can sit down, look at his physique, look at his tan, and look at his posing to make sure that he's on point for tomorrow. Let's go check him out. That's the one thing, is every time we go traveling and I vlog, there's a million videos that you all watch. There's a million of them. And it's always your hair flowing in the wind. And your booty looking great. You're looking awesome. And then there's the her videos of you. Never. Julia's got to learn how to hold the ha camera, guys. Hey, now I have a baby to hold, so yeah, you shame. lost your I lost my chance. I'm never going to get footage again. Got some fucking pizza? Look at that. Oh. You eat pepperoni? Plant based pepperoni, bro. Really? Yeah. It's, vegan, it's vegan pepperoni. You can get vegan pepperoni, you fucking yeah, pizza vegan pizza? pepperoni, vegan cheese. They even had vegan chorizo, but it was discontinued, so. What? Yeah. That's, yeah, actually, that's actually dope. By the way, guys, Nick fucking tie dyed my hat. Mm. Look at that shit. If you guys want us to drop some of these in the description, Nick will get a cut, because I'm not going to do that shit. He's gonna do it. That's just how it is. Are you excited to be in Toronto? Yes. Do I look okay? You look better before, but tell you just tried to go become a thug and throw your hood up yeah, and shit. <laughs> He's so happy. He's so cute. So guys, I went to uh, Planet Fitness today, even though I was told not to by the fucking crew, and it was very weird. If you guys have never been to Planet Fitness before, uh, don't fucking go. Definitely don't go. <laughs> but it was very weird. And listen, I'm not here to talk shit about the members and everything, but I understand why they have it niche that way because I swear to God, dude, like they don't even teach their members how to lift, Nick. They were yeah. just doing whatever the fuck they wanted to. That's awful. They're just doing random shit. It's so weird that everything in there is purple too. I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, I don't mind the purple. I think it was just weird. It was like there's so much random shit going on. Whenever you see the awkward movements, yeah. that's all like all that TikTok stuff. shit. Yes. Yeah. Everything that's... you see on reels are people like jumping off. Yes, and, dude. Yes. Swinging those weights. Yeah. It's all fucking Planet Fitness. <laughs> Definitely not gonna go back there again. I'm gonna try to go somewhere else because it was fucking weird. Are you happy to be in Toronto? Yeah. Are you excited to watch Brian step on stage tomorrow? Yeah. What are you most excited about for him to win? Yeah. Do you really? Yes. He can come back out right in a second. Oh. Aloha! Food. That is the cutest thing in the entire world, Haley. Has he seen this yet? Oh, he's gonna love He's only seen the fact that I have rolled up white paper. So, how many people did you see and how are you feeling? Uh, there's about 50 people there. I feel really confident, dude. Like, really I feel good? really good. Yeah, I feel like I'm not really paying attention to anybody else because it doesn't matter who else shows up on exactly. stage. Like, the only thing that matters is, like, how I feel and how confident I am and, like, how I feel in myself. So, I'm vibing. I feel good. I feel positive. I'm very focused on the yeah. outcome. Mm -hmm. I'm just, like, keeping myself in a positive and grateful place mm -hmm. so I can step on stage tomorrow and do what the fuck I've been training to do, son. There we go. Shoulders. Yeah, right there. Tighten your abs. Bigger. There we go. Right there. Now I'm testing a new reset on so tell me if this looks good or not. Yeah, let me know when. Do it again. Yeah, I like that. And you transitioned in. Yeah. And hit. Make sure you don't get this going. Okay. And you transitioned in, then you're way here. Okay. So you got, if you come this way, because now you're drilling this move, yeah. you've got to make sure you come up. Okay. Come up big again. Because okay. it was like, that was the only time you sunk in. Okay. Every other time you stayed big, the only time you sunk in is through that transition. So if you transition in, we got to come up big still. Okay, call me front and back to front. Yep, yep. And face front. So much better. So much fucking better. That's what I'm talking about. Twist towards me a bit. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Abs. There you go. Like that. What you just felt is what I want you to do. Less of leaning in and more of just bring them in tight so we can see your lines. There you go. That's it, bro. Your body's firing really well. And every time I tell you a certain cue, it's hitting right away. Like your connection right out of your fucking I'll, I'll, body. I can, I'll be able to hear you in the audience. It looks amazing. That's what the fuck I'm talking about, dog. And then the back. Oh, yeah? 
Oh yeah, bro. <laughs> Holy fuck. Hell yeah, dude. Toronto is the land of naps and snacks and naps and snacks. And a little bit of Brian Mark's juicy body. to see you with that trophy in your hand. What about you, baby Tate? Anything you want to say to your Uncle Brian? Yeah! Yeah, yeah that yeah, was buddy. that was power right there. <laughs> Found it. Yeah. All right, G. How you feel? I feel confident. I feel really good. I feel really good. I feel like at this point, there's literally nothing else I can do but decompress and relax. Dude, I agree. It's written. 100% it is written. So we're going to throw... Uh, Brian's morning shots up on the fucking screen so you guys can see and that was after we ate how many carbs yesterday? Uh, it's close to 600 grams. 600 carbs. grams of carbs and this morning you've only had 160 grams of oats, 200 grams of banana, two tablespoons of peanut butter, white rice, and chicken. Fucking right, dude. Yeah. There we go. Don still working with you this morning? Dude, Don's doing everything. Good. Yeah, he's been on it. There Don literally go. woke up at 1.30 in the morning to look at my check and respond. And that's why we love you, Don. We're excited. We have seven guys in our class and we're going to beat them all. Oh, yeah. Well, all Let's go! Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I was raised by the wolves. I was raised by the wolves. I was raised by the wolves. Eight to the four. Run through the night. Up to the camera. Air Cruz Osit. Check it out for the Instagram. Okay. At Cruz Fit. There we go, at Cruz Fit. He stepped on stage, he looked absolutely amazing. You have been with us for how long? Three years. Three motherfucking years this guy's been a client. And not only did he just step on stage and look amazing, he's taking his class hands down, there's no fucking way. But on top of that, you just did what? Toronto Marathon. Now, how long is that? 42 kilometers. And you pussies keep saying you don't have time to do shit. <laughs> you just ran 42K how long I got ago? two kids. Uh, May. May, two kids, and now you're fucking just stepping on stage. And he's gonna fucking qualify for the next round. No excuses. Zero excuses, baby. Get to fucking work. Let's go! Center. What was that? I said front and center. One more time. Front and center, Better baby. Fucking go, dude. So it's yes. uh, it was a battle. We guys still got pre like it's the, the, it's not over. Yeah. It's not over till it's over. So we still got finals tonight. I'm feeling fucking good. Yeah. I feel very confident. All right, guys. So we are heading to the venue. Cole and myself and all the Mark family have purchased. Cole didn't purchase, but Cole's still in the vlog camera, so I just say his name. And I'm also super used to just doing everything with Cole. The Mark family purchased a bunch of snacks for all the competitors and all of the staff members at Summer Shredding. So we're gonna go deliver them right now, and I'm super excited to do that. Everybody say woo! Woo! Woo, motherfuckers, let's go. I just wanted to express my appreciation for Summer Shredding for giving us the opportunity to compete. So, me and my family, my wife and my daughter, come here, ladies. This is Haley, this is my daughter, this is my beautiful wife. We wanted to get you guys something as a token of our appreciation. So we have 100 snacks, 50 for the competitors, and uh, as many as you guys want for the staff.
Yeah, Hi, Boo Boo Boy. How's the show? Yeah, oh. did you have fun? Yeah. Mama did great. Thank you. <laughs> and that's what the fuck I call hard work and dedication. You guys just watched Brian step on stage after 16 weeks, more around six months of grueling work and smash his fucking class, taking home first place and just missing overalls. That is what I like to call hard work and dedication. B, when you watch this, I wanna let you know that I'm incredibly fucking proud of you and I love you with every fiber of my being. You're an inspiration to not only myself, but so many other fucking people. And the reason why I wanted to vlog this weekend is to show you guys what happens when you work your fucking ass off and you dedicate yourself to a specific goal. Guys, it wasn't just like B picked up competing and was like, you know what, I'm gonna do a fucking show. Sounds good. And that was the only thing he focused on. Me and him not only own a 20,000 square of a gym that we need to manage, but we also own a seven-figure company with over 1,500 fucking clients, and we both have families. He was just doing all of that while on fucking prep, literally grinding his ass off, hitting 20,000 plus steps a day, doing all of his cardio, dieting like a motherfucker, and everything else. What the fuck is your excuse? So many people like to bitch and whine and complain that they don't have time or they don't have XYZ in place in order to achieve their goals when you need to just make a fucking decision. I don't care what is going on in your life. I do not care how busy you are. I don't care how stressed out your life is. If you want to achieve something like you just watched fucking Brian do, make a decision. That's all it takes, a fucking decision. When he started this prep, he was actually around six months out, all right, maybe a little bit sooner. And he wanted to step on stage, but he hadn't 100% committed himself yet. And then at 16 weeks, boom, the switch flipped. And he went fucking balls deep, all in on this prep, never missing a cardio session, never cheating on his fucking diet, 20,000 steps every fucking day, 2.30 a.m. wake up so he can make sure he hit 10K steps before 6 to 7 a.m. What the fuck is your excuse? Why are you whining? Why are you complaining? Why are you wasting the only life that you fucking have? At some point, you're gonna have to get out of your own way if you wanna achieve great fucking things. And that is the key, get out of your own way. Millions of people on a daily basis reach the end of their life looking back at what they didn't achieve with regret. I refuse to be one of those fucking people and the entire point of this channel is to make sure that you aren't either. Take note from Brian, follow in his fucking footsteps, take inspiration, take motivation, and do the fucking work. Dedicate yourself, work your fucking ass off, and never let anything stand in your way. Subscribe to the fucking channel. More vlogs coming in the future. Peace. I was raised by the wolves, apes that ain't fool. Run through the night, playing with your life. Go against the pack, that's risk in your life. Better play it right, yeah, you better play it right. I got loyalty and blood, I do anything.